Charter schools are now an excellent option for parents in the Lake Charles area. A charter school is a publicly funded school formed by a nonprofit board of trustees, authorized by the state of Louisiana, who employs an established educational company on a performance based contract. Charter schools are open to every student. Hello, I am Judge Jean Thibodeau, president of the board of trustees of the two charter schools in the Lake Charles area. The board has seven members including a former deputy superintendent of the Concord Repair School System, a local child psychiatrist, and leading businessmen and women in our community. Charter schools operate as an independent school district. The Board of Trustees serve as the Charter School Board. Our board members are neither elected nor paid. The state of Louisiana allocates more than $9,200 annually for the education of each student. Our business model is lean and efficient, allowing these taxpayer dollars to go directly to the individual schools and ultimately the individual classroom. In fact, we are currently running budget surpluses in both schools. These surpluses will be reinvested in the student's education. The board has invested in the student's educational experience by building a brand new state-of-the-art facility, costing over $10 million without raising anyone's property taxes. We believe that if you build world-class facilities filled with cutting-edge resources, fully funded classrooms, and performance-based, highly compensated teachers, you build an atmosphere conducive to learning. We offer another option for parents, and that option is that they do have a choice in their child's education, is if we have a place and they apply, we will accept their children. There are no testing regulations, there's no tuition, we are a public school, and we are open to everyone. Lake Charles Charter Academy has exceeded every expectation that I could have. Small things like the music program, to the Spanish program, to just the, the curriculum. My son is in fifth grade and he is part of the Cambridge program. My oldest daughter is in the seventh grade in the Cambridge curriculum. My youngest daughter is in the second grade and she's also in the Cambridge curriculum. When students go through it, they will be able to get into such schools as Harvard and your Ivy League schools and have college credits already before entering the school. So it's a very strong curriculum and I wanted my girls to be able to be able to compete in the international sector, not just at a state or national level. And so I made the necessary moves to move from Kinder to Lake Charles so that they could attend school here. I did my research on the school, first of all, on the charter schools in general and I just thought it was a better charge than public school. For the simple fact, I, I think the courses that they have here at the charter school, um, it's, it's not as, per se, easy as the private school. And I can only talk about the private sector because that's where my child's been going to school. I chose the charter school for all three of my children because I knew that it was a place where leadership would be developed in them, that they would be challenged and more than anything that they would be loved and supported. The differences between public school and Lake Charles Charter Academy to me are whenever Lake Charles Charter Academy says no child left behind, they mean it. They will take my, the, the staff will bring my child to the side if they're not understanding the lesson and they will make sure that my child understands the lesson before they move on to the next one. Whenever they say uniform policy, they mean uniform policy. Every child has the same uniform. Okay, my son and daughter, our son and daughter, we chose charter school for the options that they offered as far as uh, individualized learning, um, the private school setting in the public school. That's really our main reason. And for the curriculum. I find that this school pays more attention to the individual child and the individual child's needs. Um, each child is considered whereas our experience is more in the public sector it was more what the school needed it wasn't very child specific looking at each child as an individual and not just a test score but that individual child being able to speak with my staff and put a name to the data makes a big difference as well daily you can check the student information system which is uh, an electronic system that parents log into with their own username and password and there they're able to pull up everything about their child uh, they can also leave messages to the parent through the system and the parent can re the teacher can respond back we have created an environment where teachers who are our heroes 
are sufficiently supported, empowered, and compensated, so they feel no need for protections such as tenure. The teachers are more involved. We know what's going on with the company and with the school all the time. And also I feel like I have more resources and more support. We also try to empower the teachers and the students. So it's one thing to be an administrator on your campus, but you're at a whole different level when you're empowering that teacher to become a leader, to become better. She sees and experiences the growth within herself and then you also empower the students. So then everyone begins to take accountability for growth. Each child's lesson plan, their goals are tailor-made to meet their individual needs. Working at the charter school allows me to use different tools and resources that they provide to meet each of those child's needs. If your child is struggling or if your child is bright, we're able to meet the needs of both um, sides of the spectrum. In this school, you're not going to find that we're giving extra credit for things like bringing a pack of paper to the teacher or doing something to earn bonus points. The grades that the children earn are actually the measure of how they're doing on the grade level expectation or the standard for that grade. I do go to the Common Core Standards, which is nationwide now. But at the charter school, I am able to expand on how I would like to do it my own style, to go ahead and push my kids and make them excel and work as hard as they can. In order to get my students' attention, they, they have to be engaged. They have to want to, to be in your classroom. You know, and you have to give them reasons to want to be in your classroom. So if ever I, I get the opportunity to do something out the box, I always take that opportunity. So homework should be something that the child has already mastered that you're just wanting them to have practice with. They should not have to ask mom or dad how to do it. We check it to see that they follow through because that's teaching responsibility, maturity, also empowering them to take lead or charge of their education. But I don't believe it should be graded. I think the grades should come from within the classroom. If we are not meeting the needs of the students academically, we will not be able to stay in business very long. The charter says that, and that is a huge difference, and it's a way that we are held accountable. That does make us different than everybody else. Character education is one of the most important roles that a teacher and the leadership team can provide to the students because character education is what is going to take those students to be successful citizens in our future. They are our future. And I'm very excited about an approach called Rachel's Challenge because this teaches intentional kindness and compassion to all students. The way that they interact and respect their teachers is utilized in this program. Along with our state-of-the-art facilities and resources, and the high morale of our teachers, we require our parents to actively engage in the education of their children. And we do so in writing. I actually taught in great schools, and I was a principal in a great school that had tremendous parental involvement. But I've never seen the likes of what I've seen here, and it's because it is a um, contract, the parents sign on the dotted line that they're going to commit to 20 volunteer hours per year if they have one child, and more than one child, it's 30 hours. Me as a parent, I'm very involved in school. I'm always up here. They do have an open door policy, which I think that's awesome. The greatest thing is communication, and as long as there's an open line of communication between the teacher and the parent, there are multiple ways to be involved. I love the fact that parents are always welcome in the school and there's research that shows that parents who are more involved in their child's education are going to have more successful children and that doesn't matter what economic background you come from. You know that children need to be loved and supported and the doors are open here for parents to do that. I became involved with the PTC, which is the uh, Parent Teacher Co-op. Basically, we kind of I kind of got started being involved just coming up and um, assisting the teachers when they need help, just in different areas. So I'm really pretty actively involved in the school. It's kind of like a community, and I'm a part of that. I can come up anytime and help out in the classroom, and then also help coach the basketball team. In our family, 
We are taught from birth that your education is critical and it is the one thing that once you have attained, you can never lose. And the research says that parents who are involved in their children's education have students who do better in school, and we know that. To ensure our world-class education, the board has hired the premier charter school education company in the United States. With 48 charter schools in seven states, Charter Schools USA offers accreditation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools from day one. Charter Schools USA takes the best of public education, combines it with what often many parents cannot afford from private schools, and puts students first to ensure that the entire educational experience for those children is focused on what works to ensure that parents are involved, technology is integrated to their instructional day, and that we have the best and most dedicated teachers in the classroom. As local citizens in the greater Lake Charles community, our board values the need for excellent educational opportunities for our students. We invite you to become part of a movement to rethink education. Now, our children deserve the very best, for they are our future. Charter Schools, rethinking education, one child at a time.